Hi, my name is Derek Baker, and today we are going to talk about the 9100 FX Air welding helmet. This is a welding helmet that incorporates respiratory protection that gives you an APF or a sign protection factor of 25. So let's go through some of the features that are unique about this welding helmet. The welding helmet combines a combination welding shield along with a grinding shield and also just a clear visor, if you will, to do setup tasks as you're walking around and maintaining your respiratory protection. This comes with the 9100 auto darkening filter available in three sizes, the V, the X, and the double X, which is shown here, our largest welding filter. This welding filter allows for a wide variety of metalworking applications. It has a shade five for cutting or torch welding. It has got shades eight through 12 for light, light welding to heavy welding and also arc gouging. Another nice feature that this has is the side windows. This allows for some peripheral vision as you are doing the welding tasks. So this allows you to, for instance, see what you're doing as you're going along a long weld. You can see the end of it. You can see if there are any hazards, for instance, trip hazards or any other things that might get in the way as you're doing your welding task. Again, as mentioned, this is a nice clear visor. This does meet a face shield requirement of 300 feet per second per the ANSI requirement. This is considered secondary eyewear protection. You would certainly want to wear uh, regular eyewear safety glasses underneath this welding helmet. We also have the respiratory face seal. This is fully adjustable and very comfortable fit, along with our patented 9100 welding helmet headgear suspension. This has been very popular as far as the welding uh, area because it is extremely comfortable and has a lot of adjustable features with it. In addition to that, the respiratory comes from our air sources through a uh, over, uh, over the side mounted breathing tube delivery system and also it, it, it hits you in the face to allow some additional cooling if you are supply, uh, connected to one of our supplied air sources. So that is a helmet overview. Next, let's look at how this connects to the air source. We've got two options available for this, an SG30W. What we call this is our self-adjusting breathing tube. As you see with minimal force, this adjusts to a wide range of torso or body length sizes without pulling on the helmet if it were too short or if it were too long and stiff, pushing on the helmet forward if it was too long. We also do offer uh, an SG40 breathing tube. This is made of rubber. It is a little heavier duty if you do get into applications that require some heavier duty breathing tubes. We also have breathing tube covers for these as well. Lastly, and to complete the system, we've got two forms of air sources. The 3M AdFlow Papper, this provides the filtering of the air through a HEPA filter and uh, through a battery pack that powers the motor. There is also an optional organic vapor acid gas cartridge that can connect to this as well to reduce certain acid gases and nuisance level OV. Another air source is our valves. This is the V100 in my hand. This provides cooling of up to 50 degrees Fahrenheit when connected to appropriate supplied air. This is great for instance in the hot summer, hot humid months when you might be in a hot tank or a hot environment. This provides essentially air conditioning to your head as you are in the respiratory protection device. So this is a great option. We also do have a heating valve for the winter months and then just standard non-cooling valves both in high pressure and low pressure. So this is a little overview on the 9100 FX Air. We hope this information has been helpful. There is more information on our website as well. So feel free to go there and look at more details at that point. Thank you for looking and hope you have a great day.